So hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find the whole of GCSE maths explained on video all for free. Now this video is about histograms which should be a very simple topic basically it's like a bar chart except for the bars on this histogram have different width. But that should not be complicated. Basically, there's one thing you really have to remember, which is the frequency is the area. So all you're really going to end up doing most of the time is working out the area of these rectangles. And to work out the area of a rectangle is not hard, right? So once you worked out the area, you've got the frequency, and that is your job mostly done. Okay, it depends really on the question. This frequency density thing gets people confused, but it's not shouldn't get you confused. Sort of ignore the word frequency density. It's not a very helpful name, right? Okay, but uh, you will need to deal with these numbers, but I'll show you how that's done in a bit. Okay, so let's quickly go through this. Um, what a typical question is like is that they will give you all sorts of groups or classes. This is basically using inequalities. Hope you know what that is. If you don't, just go to the website and search inequalities. Okay, that's saying you got a group from 0 to 100, 100 to 250, etc. So you can see 0 to 100 is there. That's the first group. Second group is 100 to 250, as it says there, etc. etc. Now, if they tell tell you to begin with that the frequency is 100 okay then that means you can work out this frequency density thing and it's important to know this thing so you can work out the areas of the rest of these bars okay so you can see the widths but you don't know the heights until you've worked out these numbers okay so imagine these are blank for now and what you do is you know that's 100 and you have to go 100 times what because that's the height over here equals 100 okay because that's the width and you don't know the frequency density yet pretend these two are not here okay and then you know the frequency is 100 so the area is 100 100 times what makes the area of 100 100 times 1 makes the area of 100 okay so what that means to say is that the frequency density uh, for this bit is 1 okay and that means I can also start writing the rest of the scale now I'm just going to write one more number 2 basically at twice the distance so if 2 blocks means 1 then 4 blocks means 2 on the frequency density scale okay again don't try to understand what frequency density means just me realize that it's a thing that you have to times together with the width to get the area and the frequency Okay, now once you've got this scale going, the rest is really easy. You know this scale is from 100 to 250. That means that it's actually 150 wide, because it's starting from 100 and 250. Take away the difference, you get how wide it is. Okay, this particular class, class B. Okay, and then um, you have to work out the area and so the frequency because that's what we're trying to fill in here so what is the frequency if that is 1 then halfway up is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 times 150 is 75 so the area or frequency of this is 75 and what's the area or frequency of that that's 250 to 300 so it's 50 wide okay and we know that is 1.5 tall because it's half unit tour from there, another one and then one point five. Okay. So you're simply going to do one point five times fifty, which is seventy five as well. And finally three hundred to four hundred and fifty times uh one because that's the height of the one. So hundred and fifty times one, the frequency is hundred and fifty and that's it. I believe that, by the way, ignore it, that's another topic. And I don't know what else to say. 